Hey, 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 welcome back to another Dr. Twisted's Toy Time. Oh, I got another payment taken care of. So now I have one more payment and one other small bill that I need to take care of. But I had an extra $15, so I decided to go to a thrift store. And I found a couple good things, and then I also went to Hastings and picked up a couple of the... Um, couple 99 cent comics and a couple 50 cent comics because I wanted something new to read and uh, a lot of this stuff is for my trader buddies but I did find some good things for me this is actually a pretty epic haul I wasn't expecting to find anything because the past few times I went to this thrift store there was nothing but this time I guess nobody went there by the time I got off of work because when I got there nobody was there and there was all kinds of goodies, so let me show you what I got. Alright. First off, I'll show you this guy. This guy makes me laugh. It's like a green bean or something. But this guy's funny. And I'll put stuff off to the side that I'm keeping, and then I'll put stuff to another side that I'll trade. So you can see that at the end of the video, and you can pick and choose what you want. But I know I got a couple things for... Carlos and a couple things for Dismania and then anything else is up for grabs so put him over here I got this awesome Jack Skelling Skellington like mad ball it is starting to yellow up here but I can probably fix that with something but I had to get that for my mad balls collection there's also this Star Wars Clone Wars ball. I don't know if it's supposed to be a hacky sack or what, but the thing's huge. But it's got Anakin there and Obi-Wan there. Thought that was neat. Couple cars. So this is like a trailer to some. It has fresh milk. Figured I'd pick that up because I know a lot of a lot of my trader buddies like cars and things. And there's also this one it says safety. I know John Steffens, you like the the cheapo cars. If you want these, they're yours. This one says power, power and safety, and the milk thing. Got this uh, Donald. I don't know what he was supposed to be doing. He looks like a keychain. Maybe sliding, sliding down something. Ooh, ah. This guy I got for Count Stankus if he wants him. I thought he was kind of cool, like a lion in battle armor. I know you said you wanted little weird figures so if you want him he's yours if not he's available for trade got this little Anakin galaxy hero figure got this little Monsters Inc PVC figure This little guy, it's like a, got an angry face, and you move it, and he's got a bullet hole in his head, and bandaged eyes. Now, I know I got a pack of these from Wampire in a trade previous, but I found another one of this guy. This little Blue's Clues PVC. This guy's awesome. It's like a Z bot. Arms move. He's got like a brain. So that guy's awesome. There is this Lego car. I know I got some Lego friends out there. If you want this, it's yours. 
There's this little piece I'm working on a project with the letter F. So I got that to put on the frame. Um, I don't know why this was in there. I think it was in the bottom of the bag that I was shoving everything in, but three little three cent stamps. <laughs> this thing's awesome. Relax, I'm just here for the cake. My wife and I try to find little weird plaque things like this with crazy sayings on them. It's for conversation pieces on the wall, I guess. I saw that and I had to get it. There's this pirate dude. Thought he was cool. There's this guy. And he's missing an arm. But otherwise, very cool. Then there was this one. I like this one a lot. He's got the wolf armor on. This little dude. And he still works. He did, anyway. He worked right before the freaking... There you go. There you go. him this crazy dude got this guy I love these things I have such a splitting headache I'm losing my mind <laughs> I have such a splitting headache very cool I know Diz Dismania, I don't know if you have this or not. It's got uh let's see if I can get the there you go. Pretty cool. Is it uh it's from House Mouse? Saw that and thought of you, and also with this puppet. And it has a couple of small stains on the outfit, but otherwise in really, really nice shape. Don't know if you collect the Disney puppets or whatnot, but if you want those, those are yours. Thought this guy was awesome. He's like one of those little people, but huge. I mean, Pretty big. Thought that was fun. Got a couple of these army men that are also huge. The bigger size, vintage looking ones. I'm not sure what the date is, but they look like the ones from the 70s. Made in China. Regardless, very cool. Um, this little Rubik's Cube. I know John Steffens, you said you had a friend that collects Rubik's Cubes. If you want this, I'll throw it in your box. Got this epic Waldorf and Statler from the Muppets. I saw that, I was like, what the what? It is mine. Very cool. I love Waldorf and Statler. This was an awesome find. This was in a little grab bag with a lot of these other little toys that I showed you already. That's the whole reason I got the bag. Love this guy. Love him, love him, love him. Also in the little bag there was these little dolphins. Shattering teeth. Thought I could use that for a custom. There's this little punk rock American Idol dealie. Is in a bag. If anybody wants him, he will be in the trade pile. Same with this R2 Star Wars Premium. Looks like his head's on backwards, but 
There we go. Now it is correct. If anybody wants that, it'll be in the trade pile. Same with this little wind-up. This thing was awesome. Found that. Had to pick it up because I like weird things and this is definitely fits in with my weird collection. Love it. Um, <clears throat> Carlos. Told you I found a couple games for you. Here they are. If you don't want them, these will be up for trade. The Yoni Musha 1 is missing its book, but the discs are like super clean. There's a couple fingerprints on them, but otherwise no scratches or anything. So I had to pick these up. They had some other games. They had like a wrestling game and whatnot, but they were all scratched up. So I just left them because I only like to pick up the, the good ones. Part 2 has its book and everything, so that's cool. But part one, you'll have to look up the instructions online or whatnot. Because I'm sure you can find the instructions online somewhere. But those are yours if you want them. Now on to some good stuff. Found this awesome robot. Which I already had this guy. But he's black and gray. So I saw this version. He's black and red. Had to pick them up. Love these crazy robots. Now this is probably my favorite of the haul. This awesome, I don't know if it's King Kong or what, but he's... pass him up. Looks like he's got a couple little marker spots on his hand and teeth, but I'm not going to not get him for 50 cents. He was great. And also for 50 cents, I got this guy here. Another awesome haul. I love this guy. Love him, love him. For my daughter, I found this crazy Totoro hat. Thought that was funny and cute. Very cool find. And then I got one of these little DVD books. Always, always pick these up when I see them because I'm always burning DVDs for my art and whatnot. So whenever I find one, I always pick it up. That's it for the thrift store haul. Now on to the comic books. I picked up Hellbreak 2 and 3. They were in the dollar bin. So I have number 1, so I wanted to get the continuing story. So I got 2 and 3 of that. I got uh, Challengers of the Unknown number 1. I like the cover. I thought it looked interesting. It has lots of monsters and stuff in it, so... I figured I'd pick it up, check it out. There's this Eddie Current, number three and four. I thought he looked pretty interesting. Wish they had one and two, but until I can find those for 50 cents each, I was not going to pass them up. There's this one, The Curse, number two. Hopefully I can find number one because this one looks really cool. I love werewolves. And I thought that cover was interesting. For 50 cents, I'm not going to pass it up. And this Airtight Garage, number one. From Epic. Usually Epic, like the old 70s comics, were really awesome with art and everything. And I really liked the style of art on this cover. So for number one, I was not going to pass it up. And there you go, there's my comics haul. Alright, for, let me see. 
So let me get all the stuff I'm trading here. Like I said, Diz, if you want those, you can have them. Otherwise, these cars, the Rubik's Cube, the Star Wars ball. Daffy, this little guy, the Blues Clues, the Lego, Pirate. All these are up for trade if anybody wants them. Comment below. Let me know. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed my video. Until my next video. Peace.